Mike Clay is Chief Meteorologist for Bay News 9 TV. He has some important suggestions for staying safe during thunderstorms. Why is lightning so dangerous? Well, lightning is as hot as the surface of the sun. So lightning uh, is dangerous because if you are struck by it, it basically shuts down your heart. And so people that are struck by lightning are burned, but that's not what causes fatalities. The fatalities are caused because it short circuits your heart and your heart stops beating. What kind of damage does lightning do? Well, the um, most lightning strikes don't do a whole lot of damage. We had lightning strike our building a few years ago and it just put a hole in some of the bricks on the roof. There are other lightning strikes that are more powerful and those are the type that burn down a house or those are the type that cause numerous fatalities. So it's impossible to know probably five or ten percent of the lightning strikes in a storm may be what we call those super strikes that are extremely dangerous. Those are the kind that uh, knock out all the computers in a building, things like that, or knock out an electrical grid. Luckily, 80, 90, 95 percent of the lightning strikes are not that dangerous unless you're actually a person hit by them. Does every thunderstorm have lightning? Well, the definition of a thunderstorm is that you hear thunder. So yes, every thunderstorm would have lightning, but it may not necessarily have cloud to ground lightning. What's the difference between a thunderstorm watch and a thunderstorm warning? Well, in, in any case, whether it's a tornado watch or hurricane watch, severe thunderstorm watch, whatever, it's simply a forecast. It means to watch the weather. A watch is issued for a large area for a long period of time, maybe four, six, seven hours. It's unfortunate that the words sound so much alike because a warning is totally different and a warning means whatever we're talking about is actually happening. We can either see it on the radar and we have really good radar indications that it's occurring or we get a report. So whether it's a, uh, and it means that type of severe weather is imminent. So whether it's a flash flood warning, a hurricane warning, a severe thunderstorm warning, whatever the case may be, that means it's actually happening. Now a warning is usually issued for a small geographic area, say half of a county, and for a short period of time, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Does lightning ever strike the same place twice? Yes, many places can get hit by lightning. Lightning doesn't care if it's already hit. Uh, these big tall TV towers get hit many, many times during a year. Is there ever lightning without rain? Yes, uh, most of the people in Florida that are killed by lightning are killed by one of the first strikes in a storm or one of the last strikes in a storm. So there's always a thunderstorm somewhere, but lightning can strike 10 to 12 miles from the parent thunderstorm. So you could have a thunderstorm eight miles away and there's pouring down rain and a lightning bolt can come out of that storm and strike where you are and there's no rain going on there. And so in Florida, with most of the people either killed by an early strike or a late strike, that tells us that people are not taking shelter soon enough when they get the first warnings of a storm or when they think the storm has passed, they're going back out and resuming their activities too soon. Most of the time, when it's pouring down rain and there's thunder and lightning, people take shelter. Is there more lightning in some months than others? Well, our, our lightning in the summer is, uh, well, Florida's famous for it. And we usually start the rainy season in June and usually wrap it up in September. And the peak of the rainy season is around early August. So there's a better chance of having a thunderstorm uh, during those days in late July, early to mid-August than any other time of the year. If I'm outside and a thunderstorm comes up, how can I stay safe? Well, the most important thing to remember is if you hear thunder, you should go inside. It's that simple. Thunder can be heard about 12 miles from a parent thunderstorm. And lightning can travel about 12 miles from the parent thunderstorm. So if you hear thunder, you should take no chances and go inside. What is the 30-30 lightning safety rule? <clears throat> After a thunderstorm ends, 
After you hear the last thunder, you should wait 30 minutes before you resume your outdoor activities. So that means if you hear thunder and you check your watch and you go 20 minutes and then you hear thunder again, you have to reset back to 30. So when you think the thunderstorm's ending, if you have your Boy Scout troop or whatever and you're trying to do something, you've got to wait 30 minutes after you hear the thunder ending before you go back out. Can lightning hurt me if I'm inside my house? It can, but it's rare. There have been stories of lightning coming through open windows. Uh, there have been stories of people on the telephone, on an old style phone. Uh, there have been stories of people in a bath and lightning coming through the plumbing or in a shower, holding a hair dryer, <clears throat> getting an electrocution from the lightning, but it's really rare. The safest place to be when there is thunder and lightning is inside. What else is important for our viewers to know about lightning? There are a number of places that are very bad places to be uh, during a thunderstorm. One of them, you, you never want to be the tallest object. One of them is on a boat. Another is on the beach. For some reason, lightning loves to hit the beach. And we see, we've seen a lot of fatalities on the beach in the past around here. Um, any, anything where you're the tallest object in a large open area. We had the tragedy in the, uh, many, many years ago at Gibbs High School where the football team in a huddle was hit by lightning. Uh, anything where you're in a flat open area and you are the tallest object or you're very close to the tallest object around, maybe a tree or a tower or something like that. Um, being inside a car is a very safe place to be. And you also, I see a lot of people in Florida, they think if you're under a cover like a pavilion, that you're safe and you're not. There's no difference. You need to be inside a building. So I've seen uh, uh, kids in a park and there would be like a picnic pavilion, a big thunderstorm comes up and everybody goes and runs under the pavilion. That, that offers no shelter whatsoever. Thanks Mike Clay for this important information about lightning. To learn more go online to www.lightningsafety.noaa.gov